So <clears throat> this is video two in the series of stress buckets. I'm going to talk about shutdowns. Shutdowns are not meltdowns. Meltdowns are not shutdowns. They look very different. Uh, I have been shut down since yesterday and I'm still shut down today. Um, this is the only talking I've done in two days verbally with my mouth uh, and very little via social media. So my son had a rough week, a lot of meltdowns daily, more than one daily, like four or five. And it was really overwhelming for my brain. Um, it's, it's very loud when he has meltdown and I'm extremely sound sensitive. So, um, and then I've got that shot coming up tomorrow. So, you know, a shutdown is a, a way for <clears throat> us to just settle and rest the brain. And I've purposely been taking my sleepy meds to make me sleep all weekend because I need it. So some people said, you know, I told them I was in a shutdown and they said, I hope you feel better. And I want to explain that a shutdown is not a bad thing. Um, they're an okay way for us to reset. It's okay to not want to talk. It's okay to not want to interact. It's okay to want to sleep. We need it. Autistic people need it sometimes, including autistic kids. If your kid was verbal one day and goes nonverbal the next day, they just need to rest their brain because communicating with the mouth can be challenging. And when your, your brain is overwhelmed, um, sometimes it's just not possible. So, uh, the shutdown is when you want to just curl up and lay in your den and rest. And like I said, it's not a bad thing. If, um, if someone's in a shutdown who's autistic, who you know, whether it's a, an adult or yourself or a, a child, accommodate their shutdown. Let them rest. Get them their weighted blanket if they want it. Ask them binary questions and give them a way to answer that doesn't require speaking. Like for my son, I'll have him tap. One leg is if he wants this and tap the other leg if he wants that. And I give him options like, do you want to be alone? Tap your left leg and I'll tap it for him. And then he'll either respond or he won't. And then I'll say, do you want me to stay with you? And I'll tap his right leg with my right hand, with my left hand, sorry. Um, and he'll tap the same leg of the answer that he wants. So. That's what a shutdown is. They're not bad. Let them happen. They will pass. They are necessary. Um, just accommodate them as best you can. And that's it.